that is enough for now. You must rest, my child of light. What is this? Are you frightened of the storm? Oh, fear not, my child, for a storm is a symbol of love. Perhaps we have time for one more story. Long ago, when mankind was only just learning the ways of the world, and magic still thrived, there was a young water nymph named Zadara. She was bound to water, as is their way, and her water was a small pond in the forest clearing, and she was at peace. But one day, a thoughtless traveler set the forest ablaze with his carelessness, and Zadara's pond evaporated, and bound to water as she was, she traveled with it, exiled to the sky. As soon as she arrived there, Stratus, the king of all clouds, immediately welcomed her as one of his own. But Zadara was distraught. She missed her home and watched it return to flourishing without her, her own tears refilling the pond as she wept for its loss. She missed seeing it in the light again, for the shadow of her own cloud blotted out the sun. It broke Stratus's heart to see her pained this way. And so he cast a bright but brief flash of light for her to see her home in the light once more. And for the first time since her exile, she smiled. Strata sighed a booming sigh of relief to finally bringing joy to his daughter. So you see, lightning is just the light of Stratus, just as you, child, are the light of this realm. And the thunder is merely the sigh of a proud father, finally bringing joy to his daughter. Now rest. Oh, child, uh, why are you scared? It's just a thunderstorm outside. Um, you have no reason, in, reason to be scared. Thunderstorms just represent love. Let me tell you a story, child. So, one day, many centuries ago, there was a water nymph named Sadari. She lived in a small little pond, and it was beautiful. She loved it. Um, then one day, for some reason, she was banished, and in her exile, she was sent to the Cloud Kingdom, but she really missed her pond. Um, so, she got really sad, and she cried, and cried, and cried, and she made it rain, and she could still see her pond from up in the sky. But her cloud blocked out the sun, so she couldn't see it in the light. Um, so, um, she got even more sad, and the rain poured even harder, caused massive flooding. Um, and then, uh, her father, so Satarius, um, was really distraught that his daughter was upset, so he, he, he created a great flash of light that lasted only a few moments so she can see her pond in the light, um, and that made Satari very happy. Satarius let out a giant boom, boom inside of relief. Happy that his daughter was now happy. And that, child, is why you shouldn't be afraid of thunderstorms.
Rhino, Rhino, baby! Oh, child of mine, don't be afraid. That's only thunder. And thunder just means love. <laughs> Let me tell you a story about how thunder began. A long time ago, there was a water nymph named Centaurus. She lived in, a great, in the Great Lakes, loving all her ponds. And eventually, <laughs> eventually she went up to the Sky Kingdom. And her dad, and she became very distraught. And her dad, Santorino, didn't like that his daughter was upset. So he created this loud flash of lightning and this thunderous boom to show his daughter how much he cared for her. And she loved it. So that is why, child, you should not be afraid of thunderstorms. Oh, child of mine, thunder means love. And let me tell you a stun story of how thunder happened. There was a person, Zentornis, that lived in the Great Lakes, ruling over all her ponds. One day, she ascended to the Sky Kingdom next to her father, Zentorno. She was sad. She... She was afraid. And her father said, Don't be afraid. Here, let me create something for you. And he created a burst of light. And lightning happened and thunder rolled across the sky. And he said, my child, I love you. And that is how thunder was born. This is the story of how thunder means love. Oh child, do not be scared. Thunder means love. Let me tell you the story. There was a, a great woman who was named Zentaurus, who ruled over the great lakes and her ponds. She was sad and one day ascended to the skies to meet with her father, Zentorin. Uh, he said, my child, do not be sad, and created a bolt of light, lightning, Reeked across the sky, followed by a clap of thunder. Think of the lightning and know that I love you. And that's the story of how thunder means love. I think. This is the story of why thunder means love. Once upon a time, there were great people 
who lived in the sky. When two of them were separated, they became very, very sad. And one said to the other, do not be afraid. He created a great ball of light and sent it streaking through the sky. And he said, when you see this, you will know my love for you. And that is the story of High Thunder Means Love, I think. Story of how thunder meant love. Once there were sky people. Um, uh, and they wanted something to do with the people on Earth. They either made them or didn't. And the people on Earth were sad. So the sky people said, look to the bright side. Uh, they did not, because there wasn't a bright side. So the sky people made a big ball in the sky and that, uh, that is somehow means love because of the thunder, the big ball in the sky. Ra 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 ra. Meow 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 meow. Ra 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 ra. This is a banana. You could see every little uh, drip of barbecue sauce. Oh, we might actually be live. <gasps> really? <coughs> That's a thing? Yeah. No, I see uh, offline still. Yep, we're live. We're actually Hello, live. Love. We're actually good. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. What you got? Oh, Hello. Hello. Hi, virus. Oh. He probably got like seven notifications when we were live. <laughs> we were <laughs> letting any viewers know if they want. Hey, I'm streaming. Yeah. Streaming. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're streaming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So oh. how the hell do you find it when you go live? Because you were in my offline channels, and now you're nowhere. Well, we can figure that out another time. <laughs> well, I just wanted to be able to have the stream on my phone. but You're in the stream. <laughs> hey, I want to see myself. I mean, it's true. My my little image of myself is so tiny right now. Do, do you I want think me it's to gonna make help. it all bigger? Because I can make it a little no. bigger. No, no, I mean don't, on don't mine. mess with it. The name, the name plates. <laughs> oh, that's true. Don't mess with any of it. I can't. I can't touch any of it. We're we're, <laughs> we're locked in. It's too late. <laughs> yeah. Silent three is silent. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how that went. I hope I didn't type. I, I'm looking over all the usernames. Like, did I type something wrong? But no, I think we're good. I think we're good. Just took an hour to get everything done. That's fine. <laughs> it's true. We have literally been here about over an hour now. Yeah. Yep. Hour and a half. Hour, hour and a half. Jeez. Yeah. I. Uh, sorry, and I hope your wife doesn't mind that we have taken you for this long. <laughs> on her birthday. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> well, I don't see why we can't get started then, because we haven't tested the audio. God. Oh, no. Well, let's just hope it's perfect the first time. You are broadcasting a tab, correct? Yes. OK. This one we did test. Okay. When it was just the two of us, it worked. 
that sounds good then. The the one thing I don't know is stream volume. Oh, that's true. Um, all right. Well, let's just hit play, and they'll tell us if it's wrong. All right, all right. Here we go. <laughs> the Love in a Storm by Silent Three. I went back to easy. So no, you're right. No, I did. I did. Here we go. This is way easier. Long end. That is enough for now. You must rest, my child of light. Very That's soft. It. Are you it's frightened fine. of the storm? Oh, fear not, my child. For a storm is a symbol of love. Perhaps we have time for one more story. Long ago, when mankind was only just learning... There the is an echo. World, and Huge. magic still thrived. Bad echo. And the video is very soft. The video isn't that soft. I think you're just deaf because you're old, Lingster. No, <laughs> I had to turn it up so I could hear it. Oh. No echo on stream. Well, that's good to know. Um, Dice, can you maybe mute yourself while the video is playing? It's, maybe we all can? I mean, it's definitely not my stuff because I'm using the headset entirely. I figured it was most likely mine, so I muted, but I muted like right after he paused, so I don't know if that worked. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the start, uh, skip a little bit for the intro. Okay, here we go. That is enough for now. You must rest, my child of light. What is this? Are you frightened of the storm? Oh, fear not, my child. For a storm is a symbol of love. Perhaps we have time for one more story. Long ago, when mankind was only just learning the ways of the world, and magic still thrived, there was a young water nymph named Zadara. She was bound to water, as is their way, and her water was a small pond in the forest clearing, and she was at peace. But one day, a thoughtless traveler set the forest ablaze with his carelessness, and Zadara's pond evaporated, and bound to water as she was, she traveled with it, exiled to the sky. As soon as she arrived there, Stratus, the king of all clouds, immediately welcomed her as one of his own. But Zadara was distraught. She missed her home and watched it return to flourishing without her, her own tears refilling the pond as she wept for its loss. She missed seeing it in the light again, for the shadow of her own cloud blotted out the sun. It broke Stratus's heart to see her pained this way, and so he cast a bright but brief flash of light for her to see her home in the light once more. And for the first time since her exile, she smiled. Strata sighed a booming sigh of relief, of finally bringing joy to his daughter. So you see, lightning is just the light of Stratus, just as you, child, are the light of this realm. And the thunder is merely the sigh of a proud father, finally bringing joy to his daughter. Now rest. Oh, oh so dear. Wait, there was a fire, an exile. Oh, boy. <laughs> what? Yeah. Really? That's a real yeah. story. It was I, a good story, but. It was a great story. Uh, a lot of depth and detail to it. I got one <laughs> detail in my story. <laughs> You know, I really, detail. I really thought this was a relatively simple story. After <gasps> Dice's, oh. <laughs> oh. Six, it'll be a nice story. There'll be only two names to remember and just some stuff. Not what? terrible. What names? <gasps> oh my goodness. The, the, um, Zadara. 
the water nymph. King and Strat then Stratus, the king of clouds. And that's a yeah, super and easy one. <laughs> Stratus is a kind of cloud. Stratus <laughs> is not what I got. I, I want to point out here that we gained time in the second video. <laughs> we did. Yeah. What could go wrong? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> So, uh, yes, that was my wedding dress, and Virus Dice didn't know until after he had already recorded his video, and after we sent ours off to Merchant so he could edit them, that uh, that I wore it in the first place. We were out on a walk, tra la 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 la, and I was talking about a party that I eventually want to have, where just everyone comes over and they wear whatever they want to wear that they never get to any other time. And I, I was thinking, you know, some people will be in a fancy wear, some people will be in costume. It doesn't make a difference. Um, and, and I said, I enjoy wearing my wedding dress. I haven't gotten to wear it. Well, I wore it for a little bit a couple of weeks ago. And he was like, what? <laughs> Pretty exciting. I don't have a wedding dress yet, but I enjoy my prom dress a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get to wear it often? No, it doesn't really fit too well anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh. My, mine didn't fit for a long time. But not for the usual reason. Yeah, I don't wear my uh, wedding dress either. <laughs> What's the usual reason? The usual reason is because people become fatter than they were when they went to prom. And while that is also true, um, that part was fine. But when I went to prom, I was a B-cup. So oh. I I can't fit in my wedding dress. Yeah, no. <laughs> or not my wedding dress, my prom dress. I wasn't that much of a weight <laughs> The only reason I was able to synchronize my costume with silence that one time was because it happened to be in the thumbnail. Um, and so I planned ahead, if that's what you're talking about. I saw like the first like two seconds, so I could kind of synchronize a little bit. I didn't have any lawn sleeve dresses. So. I feel like they aren't particularly common. But everyone was supposed to have a prop, except Masarian, because he wasn't with us when we talked about make sure you have a prop. So Consider I'm kind of like excited a, to see. Like a hazing of the new guy. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm kind of curious if he improvised. But I also am curious if people changed camera angles. Um, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, aging of the new guy having him watch Roderick. Oh, Roderick's was not the worst one. No, I, it I wasn't, definitely but... think Dice's was worse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How about we well, at least go to the next video? video? I am excited to see. Sounds good. So. Let's meet up. Here we go. Also, the echo did go away when you muted this. Yeah. And not on mine. Well, it so was still echo. Okay. Then I shall then I told you. I am sorry. Oh child. Uh why are you scared? It's just a thunderstorm outside. Um, you have no reason, in, reason to be scared. Thunderstorms just represent love. <laughs> Let me tell you a story, child. So, one day, many centuries ago, there was a water nymph named Sadari. <sighs> she lived in a small little pond, and it was beautiful. She loved it. Um, then one day, for some reason, she was banished. And in her exile, she was sent to the Cloud Kingdom. But... She really missed her pond. Um, so she got really sad and 
she cried and cried and cried and she made it rain and she could still see her pond from up in the sky but her cloud blocked out the sun so she couldn't see it in the light um so um she got even more sad and the rain poured even harder caused massive flooding um and then uh her father Sertarius um was really distraught that his daughter was upset so he crashed he he created a great flash of light that lasted only a few moments so she can see her pond in the light um and that made Sadari very happy. Sartarius let out a giant boom, boom inside of relief, happy that his daughter was now happy. And that, child, is why you shouldn't be afraid of thunderstorms. So we lost the fire. Yeah, the fire didn't last a single okay. telling. But that's she fine. Was, she was still a water nymph. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The names were gone. No, she said Zadari as opposed to Zadara. So I'm, I'm going to say that's good. And the, oh, close enough. It became okay. Zadaria. Yeah. That's basically the same name but maybe a slightly more masculine version it more masculine but probably very confusing in the retelling i'm expecting oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, almost three minutes for slides video <laughs> oh I, no. that's I cut it in half everything went completely south in this video <laughs> third video man the third one <laughs> yeah, it, it, I can't wait to see what comes after I've seen this one. Okay. Because it's the one I got. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I, I can't wait to see what comes after. <laughs> well, to get to the stuff after, we should probably watch this one. <laughs> so here. There's the fire. No, <laughs> never to be seen again. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. All right. Here we go. <laughs> it's my Jinko. Oh, you. Beauty, beauty. Rhino. Rhino. Baby! Oh, child of mine. Don't be afraid. That's only thunder. And thunder just means love. <laughs> Let me tell you a story about how thunder began. A long time ago, there was a water nymph named Centaurus. She lived in, a great, in the Great Lakes, loving all her ponds. And eventually, <laughs> eventually she went up to the Sky Kingdom. And her dad, and she became very distraught. And her dad, Santorino, didn't like that his daughter was upset. So he created this loud flash of lightning and this thunderous boom to show his daughter how much he cared for her. And she loved it. So that is why, child, you should not be afraid of thunderstorms. Yep. I liked the prop. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the one rhino, two rhino baby was my count. 
So oh. what we've been doing for the sake of our viewers, um, we, we try to have a countdown at the beginning of the video. So uh, whoever ends up editing them together has like a sound check that they can go based off of. And almost all of us forgot it this time. <laughs> yeah, we're really bad at it. And I, I remembered and re edited mine in. <laughs> I, I did like what you did with it. Um, the, the, your check, unfortunately, I cut it out because I, I wanted, I needed to get everyone's in order to do something. But I liked what you did with it. Uh, so honestly, that was a really streamlined story. That was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like the way you told it too. It did sound like you were talking to the to to a child to comfort it. Yeah. Yeah. Child well, of light was gone too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. The name has changed again, which is also fun. Yeah. <laughs> we go deeper down the rabbit hole here. <laughs> I think we're in free fall mode now. Yeah. Especially with who John is talking to. Uh oh. <laughs> yep. All right then. <coughs> so let's do this. Let's take a look. Love in a Storm from Lingster. Oh, child of mine, thunder means love. And let me tell you a stun story of how thunder happened. There was a person, Zentornis, that lived in the Great Lakes, ruling over all her ponds. One day she ascended to the Sky Kingdom next to her father, Zentorno. She was sad. She she was afraid, and her father said, don't be afraid. Here, let me create something for you. And he created a burst of light. And lightning happened, and thunder rolled across the sky. And he said, my child, I love you. And that is how thunder was born. <laughs> so what I'm, what I'm seeing here is that this prop that I requested that everyone have beforehand is what we are now telling the story to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am, I'm going to a lot about how it got to me. I played my prop. I was like, what's this? The, the father turned into the name of a GTA 5 car. <laughs> as an portal. Oh. Uh, my the only thing that I actually needed from the living room was the book that I had at the very beginning that I almost immediately <clears throat> set aside. <laughs> but I still wanted to have that book as if I had just finished telling the story to this child of light. Yeah. And then I decided let's let's make it a bit more about props, even though I barely had it. <laughs> and in actuality in your video silent the way one of the chairs was positioned it almost looked like you were looking at a crib yeah. really it looked really i good. thought that you were trying to do that i thought it was intentional you have to go back and look at it because you have a chair off to the side that has the slats in it and it looked like a crib like an old time crib or something yeah yeah i meant <laughs> <laughs> What chair do we have that has slats? <laughs> Whatever wooden chair you are sitting in. Oh, the one that I was sitting in? You have probably have two of them. Yeah, it was the rocking chair. The Huh. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Yeah. It was really good. <laughs> I thought that was intentional. <laughs> I, I was like, um, someone would was. probably sit in a rocking chair while telling a story to a child. That yeah. seems fair. Yeah, I usually do. <laughs> As he rocks back and forth. 
So see, normally I rock even in a regular chair, but I go side to side most of the time. This is a reclining. So I hate to say it, but my prop's a little different from the rest of your props. <laughs> it sure is. I've seen yeah. the thumbnail. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. So it, I thought that stuff was supposed to carry through. So so let me let me show you what, what I did with my. Video. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> This is the story of how thunder means love. Oh child, do not be scared. Thunder means love. Let me tell you the story. There was a, a great woman who was named Zentaurus, who ruled over the great lakes and her ponds. She was sad and one day ascended to the skies to meet with her father, Zentorin. Uh, he said, my child, do not be sad and created a bolt of light, lightning, Reeked across the sky, followed by a clap of thunder. <laughs> Think of the lightning and know that I love you. And that's the story of how thunder means love. I think. What? <laughs> so, I that you, is what I, what? You I love this idea of tenderly telling them the net. <laughs> this explains a lot of what happens. So, so now can't. we've added talking to fruit. <laughs> Not only that. But like me reaching down to like squeeze it to make it talk. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, I had no idea that there was a prop thing. I didn't know what. <laughs> oh, poor Missouri. <laughs> Right in the train wreck. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, my cheeks hurt. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, um, rest of the stream is just us laughing. <laughs> okay. So. This was one for the record book. <laughs> You know, I thought it was a simple story. <laughs> it was if you got the fruit. <laughs> it's a, uh, I mean, let's, let's move on. I, I really want to get to Masarian's one. I enjoyed it. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Oh. How did he translate the talking to fruit? Oh, what did you take? What happened? Okay. Beautifully. Yeah, Here we go. Yes. I'm not going to mute just yet because there's a great big long moment of silence before we start. This is the start. story of why thunder means love. Once upon a time, there were great people who lived in the sky. <laughs> When two of them were separated, they became very, very sad. 
And one said to the other, Do not be afraid. He created a great ball of light and sent it streaking through the sky. And he said, when you see this, you will know my love for you. And that is the story of High Thunder Means Love, I think. I, I really enjoyed it, Mosterian. <laughs> oh, man. I lost, like, all of the detail. <laughs> you got the banana, though. You, you got, got the banana. And, and the noise. I, I, I loved the, the hand motion. The, the <laughs> rah, rah, rah. Like, I was doing the voice out of, like, a like a finger puppet or something. <laughs> oh, so good. It's like you added dialogue between... <laughs> The, the king of clouds and the banana. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's such a we got the added dialogue when Slayer popped did his because <clears throat> he interacted with the baby. Honestly, I, I, it's it's so good because it's it's like oh child of mine, this is a solemn tale. Like, child of mine. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> the change is so good. <laughs> so, just as a reminder, you guys asked me to use a particular prop last, last time. <gasps> That's and right. Follow through. Oh yes. I'm so excited to see. Okay. Okay. Also, I apologize, Kate. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I just know it. Story of how thunder <laughs> meant love. Once there were sky people. Um, uh, and they wanted something to do with the people on Earth. They either made them or didn't. And the people on Earth were sad. So the sky people said, look to the bright side. Uh, they did not, because there wasn't a bright side. So the sky people made a big ball in the sky and <laughs> that, uh, that is somehow means love because of the thunder, the big ball in the sky. Ra 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 ra. Ra 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 ra. This is a banana. blessing. I'm I'm so surprised that that she didn't start uproariously laughing. <laughs> She's a professional. <laughs> I assume you made her go change her shirt to yellow? Or was Life she imitates art sometimes. <laughs> Just happened to be wearing it. Oh, no, really? <laughs> That's yep. even better. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my face. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize until after I watched mine. I didn't even talk about thunder. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna spit take all over the screen. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my goodness! Oh. Nailed it, guys. That was exactly the same story. Yep. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Twelve out of ten. <laughs> Five of seven, perfect story. Uh, <laughs> uh, he wasn't actually her father, by the way. I know, but no, that he was in the clouds, and as soon as her 
tiny pond, no, not Great Lakes. As soon as her tiny pond evaporated, she stayed with the water and went up, and he welcomed her as one of his own. Oh. Because a fire took out the pond. Nice. The so fire was gone immediately. <laughs> the banana, and then the, the banana, fire. what part did that play? The, the <laughs> banana actually started the fire in the original. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought the banana was the child because uh -huh. that makes sense. It, nope. it can be both. I think it can. The child of light lit the fire. You know, that I makes think sense. I think what we need to do is get a two-word description for these things because we've had space frogs, but now we have <laughs> arsonist banana. <laughs> 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 Not us. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Arsonist oh, banana. This has been one of the best ones. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm glad you think so, Maris. Oh, we've gotten a pretty good laugh out of it, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. So um, I, I have I another have friend one. that wants to join in as well. Ooh. Um, it's going to make it and, even worse. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be great. <clears throat> so, Masarian, are you ready to tell a story, or do you want some more buffer? It's 10. I'll, I'll try. Yeah. So you get to start off. The rest of us roll off as to where we land in the storytelling. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to note it was very challenging to start a camera facing me and then end with it facing the banana because I can't flip video while it's recording on my phone. That's the same thing with me. That's why it's all weird and my fingers got in the way. You know <laughs> what, though? You guys changed camera angles and that's all I wanted. Oh, I changed true. camera angles. Except I did it because I started off using the webcam on my laptop and then switched over to the one on the tripod. The one that Dice is actually using right now. Makes sense. That explains so it. I actually had two different cameras. I have four or five cell phones sitting around, so <laughs> you're going to get some, some pretty intense camera changes. I'm you, pretty excited. You know what? We could, like have you set up like a matrix thing so that you could take like a single frame from each phone as it goes around you doing weird things. <laughs> yeah, I but think that might take more than five. <clears throat> That'd be like eight bit matrix. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Uh, is there anything you want us to know about your story before we get going, Masarian? No, that would spoil the surprise. Okay. Ooh, okay. You see, I, I had requested the prop for for uh, this one. I, I I'm not so bold to make a request my first time out. Okay. Oh come on. Some Think people have said like genre, part. and then we like kind of prepared random costumes. Yeah. So like, it's you know it's it, it's whatever you. You have the rule set that you want to go with, and we'll just adapt. Okay. Now, but if you want to make it entirely a surprise, we can work with that, too. Let's, we can, yeah. I'm going to go freeform, because I haven't quite decided the story I'm going to tell yet. Excellent. All right. <clears throat> so maybe when you decide the story, then just say something in the Discord as far as, you know, genre or prop or whatever, and then we go with it. If you want. If you want, or you just leave it. You know, totally up to us to go bananas with. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good uh, one. Uh, All right. Back. Talk to you guys later. I'm going right. to go get my pizza now. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. And thanks, everyone, for watching. Farewell, people. Bye. Bye. We'll dice Bye, off in the Discord.